What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. There has been an absolute heap of new Taken King news this week and today I wanted to take a look at a little tidbit that I find very interesting and do some speculating on what it could mean. In a Game Informer video, this heavy weapon was briefly shown. It looks familiar, right? To me, this looks like a Thunderlord with solar damage. Let's look at the two of them side by side. On the left, you can see the Thunderlord with its blue paint job and its electrical energy pulsing from the frame. On the right, this new weapon with seemingly exactly the same model, but a red paint job and flames emitting from the frame. Okay, so what is this showing us? I see three options. The first and least likely is that this is a new legendary weapon. We know the weapon tiers in Destiny are getting overhauled and maybe the legendaries of year two will have more visual flair. I say this is the least likely option because I don't think that Bungie would reuse the weapon model for Thunderlord to create a legendary and the flames coming off of this machine gun definitely look exotic. Option two seems more likely, which is this is a brand new exotic. A Thunderlord-like exotic that does solar damage. But I don't really believe this either. If there was a solar heavy that just looks exactly like a Thunderlord, but with a new paint job and some flames, then to me, neither seem that exotic. Option three is, and this one's my favorite, this is the Thunderlord, but using the new system Bungie has teased of feeding similar weapons to the ones you already have, you'll be able to create new versions of exotics that have different elemental burn types. Now, if this is the case, and this is a solar version of the Thunderlord, then we have something really cool here and quite a bit of speculating to do. First, will all elements be available for all weapons? Will we be able to make a Void Thunderlord, an Arc Damage Galahorn? This gets me very excited because it adds to the collectability and the customization aspects of the current exotics. But Vault Space would certainly be an issue. If suddenly we wanted to collect three of every exotic, where the hell would we keep them? Also, would this system apply to primary exotics like Hawkmoon that don't currently have an element associated with them at all. Imagine an arc damage Hawkmoon or a void damage Mita multi-tool. The armies of the darkness wouldn't stand a chance. This would be epic. Of course, this is all speculation based off a couple of seconds of video of a game that's not finished yet. But it would be cool, wouldn't it? That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.